Hey, I'm Kieran, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Sometimes customers ask me about the AWS single sign-on service, how it will look for their users when it's put into action. Creating a proof of concept can take time and effort just to get a simple answer. So today, I'll be walking you through the user portal for the single sign-on or SSO service. Let's get started. To log into the user portal, first we need the sign-in URL. To get this, we'll access the SSO administrative console. Let's sign into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Single Sign-On Console. Now, let's navigate to Dashboard and at the bottom we'll see the sign-in URL. As you can see, mine displays a custom alias. The alias and the sign-in URL can be customised to your liking, but bear in mind that it must be globally unique. You might find that your chosen custom alias is already taken. If so, you'll need to select an alternative alias. When logging in, we'll be logging in with credentials for a user from the domain connected with SSO service. The landing page for users is the Your Applications page. From here we can see all the applications that the user has access to. If you choose the icon for AWS accounts, you'll notice that the menu drops down. All AWS accounts that the user has access to will be stacked under the single icon as seen here. Here we can select from a list of roles available for assumption into the accounts. Also from here, we can then obtain console access or credentials for programmatic use. Let's talk a moment about applications. SSO offers a large catalogue of pre-integrated SAML 2.0 applications, which you can configure for your own use. SSO also offers the ability to configure custom SAML 2.0 applications. Unlike the appearance of AWS accounts on this page, multiple pre-integrated and custom apps from the same vendor won't be stacked they'll be listed individually. As your catalog of configured apps grows, your users can use the search bar. When your users want to leave the portal, they can simply log out from their session. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.